Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky at the SSC Live St. Stephen TV studios with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the master in the word of God. This week, we're looking at one of the great crises of our community, the black community, and that is urban violence. And the church, which is called to be the agent of redemption and hope and advocacy for the black community, must address this issue. Thank God for the black church. It is, it is a ch an institution that is the mother of all of our institutions. Many times it experiences mission drift. But when the church is at its best, it is always advocating for the black community. Uh, basically, the church exists, the black church exists to do three things. One is um, value clarification so that people know right from wrong. Two, economic empowerment, which means in the black church, we network with each other. Uh, we make sure that the dollar is turning over in the black community. That's when the church is really being true to its mission. And three, social justice. I don't care how much development we attempt to do through trading with, with each other. If you don't have social justice and good Christian black politics, we are through. And the whole issue of violence is a political issue. In fact, it is the consequence of not doing good politics. Because the reason why there is violence on a personal level and the reason we have a mentality of violence on a private thinking level is because of the maldistribution of opportunity, power, and wealth when it comes to public policy. And Psalm 11, isn't it something how relevant the word of God is? Is a psalm about violence. Psalm 11, look at it with me. Verse 1, I've already run for dear life straight to the arms of God. So why would I run away now when you say run to the mountain, flee, go to the suburb? The evil bows are bent. The wicked arrows aim to shoot under cover of darkness. We're talking about violence, people packing weapons, killing each other in the shadows, hiding, uh, drive-bys, if you will, under the cover of darkness at every heart open to God. In other words, it's not just the bad people, but the good people. The bottoms dropped out of the country. Good people don't. And here's the whole issue. People don't have a chance. When people don't have a chance, they do desperate things. The writer wants to know, what can we do about it? What can the righteous do? Good people don't have a chance. What can we do about it? Well, we've talked about the causes. Now let's look at some cures. What can we do about it? Uh, one thing we can do is we can be present. Be present. Go back to verses 1 and 2. Verse 1 says, look here, you, verse 1, excuse me, chapter, uh, chapter uh, uh, Psalm 11, verse 1. Psalm 11, verse 1 says, I've already run for dear life straight to the arms of God. So why would I run away now and say, stop here, run to the mountain? So one thing we can do is be present. This writer is being advised, get out of the hood leave. But he says, I've run to the arms of God, so I'm not running away to the mountains to escape the urban community. One thing that we can do is we can be present. You know, in football, they have something called hold the line. So if the offense is right near the goal line and uh, it's second down and they're just a few inches from the goal line, then the defense digs in, and the coach will say, hold the line. Hold the line. And one thing we can do is we can be in the community, and we can hold the line. Hold the line. We can just have a presence in the community. Not only can we be present, but we can be proactive. What can the righteous do? You know, blacks are twice as likely to be the victims of violent crime. Why is this likely to be the victims of violent crime than whites? Statistics. Black 16 to 34, homicide is the leading cause of death. Homicide. We can be present, we can be proactive. What does a proactive mean? That means to have ministries from our churches 
that is helping to be preventative of violence. For example, men's ministries. Men should come together to do this, the three M words. Men can mentor. Black males need good mentors. I am who I am because so many great black men have helped to mentor me. Mentor. Two, second in word, model. We need black models in the black community. It's hard to be a successful black man if you've never seen a successful black man. So we need mentors and models. And then three, third in word, is monitor. We need to monitor what's going on in our community. We need to know where the hot spots are. Monitoring also means being politically active and engaging uh, our community on a, on a, on a community-wide basis to make sure that there are policies that create opportunities for uh, communities that have been left behind. When you have mentoring and modeling and monitoring, then what that does is that infuses in, in our people, especially black males, something that will eradicate violence, and that is self-love, self-love, self-esteem, self-respect, self-confidence, self-assurance, self-control, self-discipline, and self-empowerment. Don't sit back and look at all the violence and say, oh, what are we going to do? How can we do anything? The country's going to pot. The community is going to pot. We can't fix this. Yes, we can. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And two things we can do that can make a tremendous difference is just be present and be proactive. Talking about being present, I once heard uh, uh, the story of a particular woman who stopped coming to her church. And she said, I don't go to church anymore or that particular church because the devil is in that church. And the woman responded, well, he may have your seat, but the devil don't have my seat. And the devil doesn't have my seat because I'm in my seat every Sunday. And he can only get your seat when it's vacant. Let's be present. If there's any house that you can control, you make sure you control your house. Hold the line in your house. Let's close with what Joshua said in Joshua chapter 24 and verses 14 through 15. Joshua says, now fear the Lord and serve him with all faithfulness. Throw away the gods of your ancestors. Worship beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt and serve the Lord. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourself this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods of your ancestors serve beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are dwelling. But as for, as for me and my household, we will, serve the line. we will serve the Lord. You might not be able to fix the whole community, but one place you can fix is your own household. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, today and help us, us of the word, help us to be present and to be proactive as we seek to eradicate the evil of violence in our community. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me again with another powerful point to ponder. Look, everybody needs a church home. Everybody does. And if you don't have one, we'd love to extend an invitation to you to become a part of St. Stephen Church. Contact us. Email us. Newstart at sscline.org. We will get back with you. You have a blessed day. And until we meet again tomorrow, don't forget, during COVID-19, stay safe, stay sane, and never forget that God is still in control. Take care. See you tomorrow.